Hey everyone, Elise here from TGG Gaming at the OTS in, at a tabletop tournament. Who are you and how do you do today? Uh, my name is Michael White. Uh, I got top four. I was first after Swiss, undefeated. Um, then I lost to uh, the base deck. I got a six card base deck in top four. So, overall, and, a really good day. Had a lot of fun. And what were you playing? I was playing Prank Kids. Um, so, I played 49 cards in my deck. Uh, but yeah, I decided to play pranks. Um, I'll get to the prank deck, uh, the pranks lineup here, but first I just want to kind of talk about why I played 49 cards. Um, so I did a lot of math um, in regards to like starters and brick cards and all that kind of stuff, and I found that fi like 50 cards, um, if I was playing the Gamma package, was uh, extremely consistent. Uh, I did decide to cut Gamma for Bell, which I'll go over in a second, but um, that put it at 49. So 49 cards. Uh, then we can jump into it. Yeah. All right. So for hand trap lineups, um, I did want to kind of optimize on things that uh, reacted to scythe, not necessarily were outs to scythe, but had the ability to react to the field. Um, so I played three impermanence over Valor. Um, I weighed the cons of this, like drawing this off of pranks, and it just it wasn't relevant enough to consider it, and it's just better. So three imperm, three bell. Uh, so I decided this over the gamma because this is just basically always live and it's really good against DP where gamma is a little bit um, more situational now, especially with the brave stuff. Like I was finding I always had a dead gamma in hand. Uh -huh. um, so just decided to cut it. Uh, three ogre. Card's are really good right now. I don't think there's much explanation. And then three ash. Um, and then I also played, sorry, uh, for going second cards, uh, three droplets uh, as well. So in total, I believe that is one, two, three, four, five, uh, 15 cards for going second. Sounds good. Yep. Um, then for the pranks engine, um, I played pretty much maxed out on it. So I played three Lampsies, three Roxies, Dropsy, or three uh, Dropsies, three Pansies, uh, one Pranks, two Pandemonium, and three Place. Uh, I considered cutting one of the places for a terraforming, but uh, it just plays even more so into Droll, and I'm not playing Mystic Mind, so I decided not to play terraforming. Um, I don't think I would change this engine unless I was you know, trying to slim the deck down to 40, um, then I definitely would, you know, cut this to probably one and make some other decisions, like cutting Roxies. Um, but the number of times that I just normal summoned Roxies because I had a not a very good hand, like if I opened the Brave Engine, um, and I had the option to either normal summon Fancies or Roxies, I usually take this. I know it plays a little bit more droll, um, but it does really help fix your hands and then 50 cards um, Like if you're trying to do the math if you don't open a hand trap <clears throat> You have like an 80% chance to open a, a hand trap or a droplet or something to just kind of help help your board instead of having a dead Pranks in your hand. Uh -huh. um, so kind of like that Let's see here then I played uh, Instant Fusion, Thunder Dragon Fusion, and I also played uh, the Fus Fusion Destiny package. Um, I found that this was really consistent throughout the day, and it just helps the deck with the mid game. Um, not so much with the late game, but it definitely it definitely helps, and it definitely won a few matches. Uh, there was one match in particular that I played against a 60 card dragon deck where I had uh, Thunder Dragon Fusion set, and I used DP to pop it to get me to a starter. Um, which was really, really, really beneficial. But if you open Thunder Dragon Fusion in like in any opening hand, um, any open playable, of course, you can actually end on um, DP and Battle Butler with just one, with just one price. Uh, so that makes it really, really, really nice. Uh, but you do have to open the Thunder Dragon Fusion, which. Uh, you know, in 50 or 49 cards, opening one of is not very, not very seen. Uh, then, for the rest of the deck, uh, I played one called by the grave. Um, I was debating between this and Foolish Burial, uh, but I decided on called by just because um, there's a lot of uh, Flandries players here, and I didn't really have an out to shifter since I was taking out Gamma, so I did decide to go with called by over Foolish. If I was playing Gamma, I would definitely play Foolish Burial over this just because it's uh, pretty much identical or there for the same thing um, to get to a hand trap the gate. And then uh, extremely standard lineup for the Brave package. Um, the one ofs and then three of the Enchantress and three of the Rites for the main deck. So pretty standard, um, a lot of fun, 
very easy to pilot, and yeah, it's a good deck. Uh, for this extra deck, right? Extra deck. Right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want it to be. Yeah. Uh, extra deck, uh, one Meow Mew, uh, one Link Spider, one Bow Wow Bark. Uh, I wanted to up this to two, but I didn't have a second one. So I definitely was going to cut the Phoenix initially for the second Bow Wow Bark, uh, but I couldn't find one, so Phoenix is in there. Then um, we have three Doodle Doo. Uh, I prefer the combo that goes into Doodle Doo doodle -doo twice, turn one, um, just so you can make your pranks a little bit better um, in shuffling back. So I played three of that instead of two. Um, let's see here. Then we have uh, Nightmare Phoenix, uh, Anaconda, Unicorn, uh, pretty generic, self-explanatory, obviously I'm playing Anaconda. I almost played two of this, um, but the host of this channel. <laughs> Uh, gave me a look today that dissuaded me. Uh, just one simple look. So I, didn't I, <laughs> I didn't do shit. Yeah. Uh, but it, it has come up in testing, but not enough to be relevant. Um, when you're playing the Fusion Destiny package and Thunder Dragon Fusion, sometimes it's nice to have that second option, um, depending on what how the game kind of plays out. But usually, if you are needing to go into a pre uh, second Anaconda, the game's really not in your favor, or you probably were winning already anyways. Um, so it's, you know, take it or leave it. Uh, then for the Link 4s, I played one Access Code and one Rip Roar and Roaster. Uh, I summoned this card against a 60 card uh, Dragon deck and, that was playing the Brave Engine, and it is quite good against the Brave Engine. So uh, basically it just means that uh, their Continuous Spell or the Fateful Adventure and the Equip Spell are going to get stopped, uh, or, you know, it has a lot of other plays too, so I like that. Then for fusions, uh, one Rocket Ride, Weather Washer, one Battle Butler, and one Phoenix Enforcer for the deck list. Uh, for side deck, uh, I had three Nibiru, three Droll. Um, this is for more combo based decks. Um, I didn't actually side in Nibiru at all. This is a card that I've been struggling with even liking just because so many decks, like I don't think it's very good against the, the 60 card base deck um, because it just gives you another monster. Uh, so I didn't side that in at all, but I did side Droll a lot. Then I play for back row decks, uh, one red reboot, three evenly matched, uh, two cosmic cyclone, and then for going first cards, I play the three judgment. Um, so. These are pretty standard. Uh, shout out to Brian Kalina for letting me power them. Um, but yeah, that's the list. Any All questions? Right. Anything else you want to say before we close it out? Or? Nope, I'm good. All right, sounds good. Thank you for Deck Profile. Hope to see you again soon. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.